Alrighty, so you want to sing along with a backing track from whatever source you pick. I don't know, Spotify, YouTube, something else. I don't know. Um, and you're figuring it out when you try to play it into Discord, like you're trying to sing live for people or uh, in Discord or your game or wherever you do this. Um, and there's a delay. Your microphone audio is happening after your music, so it just doesn't, you just sound silly, essentially. Um, so the goal to that is we need to add delay to your music so then it will match with your microphone so then you can sing or whatever um so the way we do that uh my setup here is taken straight from i'll put it in the top right right now uh from a video i made on how to use voice meter for only music playing music through your mic purposes um, if you don't use voice meter for that, like for example, I don't use voice meter for that. I use voice meter, voice meter for all my audio. So that's fine. You can still do that. You just need the, the most important thing is you need to have music in its own column by itself or whatever that music is coming from somewhere in its own column. And you need to have a free, a free space available on the stereo inputs. So if you're using banana or potato, um, yeah. So you can follow that video, get to this point uh, where you can play music through your mic, but now you want to sing to it or something, and that's where this other fix comes in. Um, so what you'll need to fix that is you'll need a virtual cable. Um, there's two here. I still have the old one, and I don't know, but you can get the new one. It'll work just fine. So get the new one, download it. Uh, if you need to figure out how to download it, just look up how to download a virtual cable and you'll find a video on how to do it. Uh, restart your computer after doing that, uh, after installing it. And then you will you will have this cable available on your inputs here and your outputs. So there's two sides of the cable and they just connect to one another. Um, and that's how we'll use it to trick the deal here. So if I play this song, you can hear it. So it's it's basically playing through my microphone right now. And it doesn't have lyrics, so I can't really sing along with it. And I'm not going to. Um, but my microphone would be delayed if I tried to. So the music would happen before I actually started to sing. It's probably like a couple milliseconds off, but it's enough to notice. So to fix this, we are going to... I'm just going to pause the music. We're going to go to A2 in the top right, and we're going to select the cable as MME cable input. So I probably cut out there for a sec, but as cable input. Um, and then we're going to select stereo input number two as WDM cable output. And the, the reason why I'm selecting WDM here and not here in the top right when I select WDM for the cable up here in the top right, it's not always a guarantee that it will sound good. So I'd rather just go with MME and make it sound good. After doing that, go to menu, system settings, buffering MME, and bring this down to 512. Because if we don't, then potentially right out of the gate, uh, your music could have more delay than your mic, and we don't want that. It's the opposite. We want it to be synced. We can rename this column to delay music, because that's what's going to happen. Basically, what's about to go down is music is going to get shot from right here. Let's use red. Uh, it's going to get shot from red. Hello? There we go. Red. Uh, it's going to get shot from here. It's going to get put right up into these two devices. One's my headphones. That's why I'm able to hear it. And then the other one's the cable. So it's going to go through the cable, back into the other cable, because they just connect to one another. 
and then that delayed music is going to go right here. So if we go back to the program and we press play on the music, you can see that it's just slightly delayed right now. I'll pause it and play it again. Yeah, just barely. Um, and that's kind of what we're shooting for. We might need to add more delay though to it. So the way we add more delay to the music is we go to menu system settings and then we look for monitoring synchro delay and we can apply delay to A2, which is the virtual cable. So we can apply a delay to the music only. So let's say we need, you might have to test this, but uh, I'll just start off with 100. So 100 milliseconds and then I'll play the music again. And it will be more and more delayed, however much I add to it. Um, and the way to test it is we're not going to have B enabled on this column anymore. Still going to have A because we want to hear the, the normal music. But we want people to hear the delayed music so then it matches our microphone. So we're going to enable B on this one. And then we can go into a program like Sound Recorder. It's in the Microsoft Store. And you can... Play your music. And then just make sure you're recording out B1 here because that's what we have enabled on your mic and the delay music column. Start recording. And yeah, you should be able to test out whether or not the microphone is synced up. You know, I'll put the, I'll put on the screen. How about that? If your microphone is more delayed than the music so still have the original issue you need to add more ms here more milliseconds so you need to add more if your music is more delayed than your mic then you need to decrease this number you added too much. You may have to tinker around, find the sweet spot, but other than that, that should be that should be everything. I will now go over banana just really quickly. There's just one difference, banana and potato just quick yeah. thing. If you're on banana or potato, the only difference is you just need to on the music column, you just need to enable A2. That is it. Because on the other one, it, they're combined, but on this one, they're not. So you just need to enable A2 here. So now if I play the music, holy moly. Now if I play the music, it's going through A1 and A2, and then back into the, the cable. So that's it. Quick freeze in time. I don't know if you just heard it, but in that clip when I was playing the music, it sounded awful. It was like jittery and stuttering and whatever. The reason for that is from... This newest setting in voice meter, I had it set to strict. Um, you may not have this problem. Uh, the Veo Sync is set to soft by default, not strict, so you should be fine. Um, but in my specific setup, strict was not working well for having this, this delay fix. So just wanted to point that out there. That's why it sounded terrible once I disabled strict and turned it to soft, we were good.